Welcome back, everyone. I hope your Saturday is off to a, a nice start. Good amount of sunshine out there right now, but keep your eyes to the sky. Well, for the next few days, really, because we have isolated shower and thunderstorm possibilities today, tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday at different times. None of them are washouts, but it is possible. So keep your eyes to the sky. It's going to be bright and toasty, certainly less humid for a Father's Day, but there is the potential for isolated afternoon and evening spot showers or maybe a rumble of thunder. Tropical feel in the air on a Monday and Tuesday. We'll get to it in just a bit on future cast, but a uh, tropical storm is going to head just off the coast of the mid Atlantic. And as a cold front swings through for us, Monday and Tuesday could pick up some of that moisture and bring us some downpours or thunderstorms on Monday and Tuesday. But let's set the stage for our weather this weekend. This warm front pass through brought us that uh, scattered shower activity in the overnight hours. Right now, our flow is out of the south, so it's bringing in that warmer and humid air. We've got a cold front that's going to swing through this afternoon and evening. That brings us the potential for more isolated thunderstorm and shower activity. And once that's swings on through. We'll have a more refreshing air mass in place for tomorrow. Still warm, but less humid. High pressure and control keeps us dry, but this high pressure this building is going to be weak and that's going to move out pretty quickly. So we have another potential for some unsettled weather as we start off uh, the next week. As mentioned, that's going to pull in some of that tropical moisture potentially as this cold front passes through on Monday and Tuesday. But for today, for Juneteenth, you can plan on some warm weather with uh, temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Again, a spot storm or shower in the afternoon afternoon and evening. We'll get to the details on that one in just a bit in future cast, but we do have a possibility. Uh, we're a, a one on a one to five scale here for uh, strong to severe weather. So it is a low risk, but it is possible for this afternoon and evening. And the main threats are potentially uh, localized damaging wind gusts, maybe a little bit of hail where those thunderstorms develop as well as some localized downpours. But overall, this is a small risk. The risk is still there though, nonetheless. So of course we talk about it. Now, as we head into the afternoon and evening, showers and thunderstorm activity activity tapers off really throughout midnight or so and then temperatures fall into the upper 50s to middle 60s as we start the day off for Father's Day. A nice start to Father's Day, good amount of sunshine and definitely a good amount of warmth. But as we head into the afternoon and evening, you see the clouds are going to start to uh, thicken up and develop a little bit. So we're at least going to have some cumulus clouds popping up. And as mentioned, a possibility for a pop up shower, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. So there's a risk there tomorrow as well, uh, but certainly less so than today. Uh, taking you through all of that on future cast here, shower activity may be popping up lingering throughout the mid morning. Most of the day today looks dry, but as we get into the afternoon and evening, one, two o'clock, some more showers or thunderstorms popping up from time to time. So keep your eyes to the sky. If you're spending time outside today, if you hear a rumble of thunder, you know what that means you want to head inside, but that all tapers pretty quickly. Now, as we get into the uh, afternoon and evening hours, as mentioned, the timing of that cold front is critical because if it arrives too late, it's not going to tap into the warming or heating potential of the day in order to get rain. You need lift. You need upward motion. So if it arrives too late, then that risk for us really kind of is non-existent. At this point, this model has most of this keeping to ourselves. So something we'll be keeping in a close eye on for sure. And then as we head into Sunday, you see that risk kind of comes back up with those pop-up showers in the afternoon and evening. We're in the summer, so you get that warm, humid air, and really those chances kind of linger. And then you see uh, as we head into the start of the week, that tropical moisture from Tropical Storm Claudette as that moves off to the mid-Atlantic, taps into our cold front, brings some of that moisture in. So we could see some downpours or some isolated thunderstorms late overnight Monday into Tuesday. It's going to get really humid as that approaches and then things kind of start to taper off. So it'll more of a refreshing feel as we head into the mid to late part of the week, kind of similar to last week, uh, but hot and humid for the next few days. Again, isolated risk for thunderstorm and showers. So keep your eyes to the sky, keep the rain gear handy and certainly stick with us on air and online for updates on that. Bree, over to you.